Greetings and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be demoing a Java program for an advanced uh, computer programming course. This is a program that takes any string of text and actually compares the words in the string to some dictionary entries that are defined and decides whether or not the words are spelled correctly. So what we have under the hood, there is a, uh, uh, I'll navigate to it really quick. There is a spell checker program, and this guy has a dictionary which has words in it. All right, it's quite a small dictionary because uh, this particular uh, program actually isn't complete. There's some issues with larger dictionaries because I've not been able to successfully get the hash function to actually find the words uh, in the larger dictionary. So, for example, the huge dictionary that I try using. Uh, which requires a hash function to reliably get the words is about what like 5,000 or so lines of just different words here It's quite a huge file and it does run the program will compile But the output is a little funky I'll actually show you guys the different outputs that we get with the different size dictionaries really quick Here's a medium-sized dictionary that sometimes will print the right word But depending on the text it will sometimes print the wrong word just like the huge dictionary will but the smaller dictionary will typically always print the right words because there's very few words to actually have it get hung up on. Now I'm actually using a nested for loop to go through each word in that dictionary. I did hash it out but to actually find the words I'm using a nested for loop. So the dictionary that I'm currently using is the small one and you can see when I run this program with the small dictionary I'll actually get a pop-up saying you know there's uh, the load time could take over a minute depending on how I actually uh, put all of the values in the hash table and how large the dictionary is going to be. And then when we actually get into this guy, we have some options here, open, save, and, and exit. So I can actually open a file. And then if I'd like to, I could make changes to that file. I could just put like an extra letter on the end of this guy and then save it. I'll save it as test2. Why not? And then you can see that it's actually saved. I can open test1 again, and I can open test2. And the files do close when I open a new one. So you can see that the, the open and the save is actually working. The exit obviously is quite easy to do. It, it works just fine. And then, of course, there's the edit menu. The edit menu is where all the magic happens on this guy. So basically, we've got this string of text. We use the edit menu, click the spell check option, and we're going to need some luck to actually spell check this guy. So what actually happens is I run through... Um, a spell check method that I defined and I compare all the different words to the words in the dictionary the words that the user entered compared to the words in the dictionary and I come up with a result with my logic now the logic works on smaller dictionaries but as you get into larger and larger dictionaries um, not using the hash table implementation is really causing a hindrance so basically what we have here is the correct spelling of these words however if I were to just simply go in here and actually change the dictionary to the medium size. Let's say I delete this dictionary here, and let's say I go uh, this dictionary right here, I'll actually just say dictionary, because the file that I'm opening is dictionary.txt, so now the dictionary file is a little bit larger than it was before, so when I run this guy the next time, it's going to do a little bit different. So we'll open the file again, and then I'll just do the spell checker on these words. Now, obviously, with the smaller dictionary, all of these words were printed correctly. They looked through the list and found the words. They made the comparisons, the swaps on all of the characters, character by character, swapping things in and out until they came up with the word, just like we're supposed to. But when I add more to the dictionary, you can see some of these words don't actually get discovered. Like, Brandon was spelled correctly in this case, but you see in the output, it's not. Like, my logic is actually just catching uh, catching some... I'm not really exactly 100% sure exactly how this is happening yet. Um, but it's quite frustrating because the larger I make the dictionary, the more inaccurate the dictionary becomes simply because I'm not using the hash function properly. All right? So you can see that it still does compile. I can still use the program. It's still a workable program. But when we actually make these dictionaries bigger... And I'll actually use the huge one as an example so you can see the output. The bigger these dictionaries get, the more comparisons are made. And you'll definitely see right away 
how slow the program becomes with the current uh, with the current code. This is quite a slow load right here on this guy. It's definitely running. It's actually right now this entire process. It's putting itself into a hash table, um, but that hash table has the find method built into it to actually find the words. But my logic that actually looks through all of the different comparisons compares the words from the user array to the dictionary array, which was hashed out. I'm not using those functions properly, and so I'm not able to quickly grab those functions out of that hash table like I'm supposed to. So you can definitely see this thing does compile. We do have the entire dictionary, the, the huge dictionary is actually now put into a hash table. But when we actually run this program, just like we did before with the same input, the spell check method will go through all of the, all the different logics that I, that I coded in. And it's going to actually come up with some words that are not anywhere remotely similar to what they were before. Because it's actually stepping through and looking at words, comparing words to other words, and then deciding that they're close enough. Like, gas is close enough to Joshua, but it's not. It's really not. But simply because of the logic, when this thing ran through, it just found a dictionary entry that looked like gas, and it was like, oh, well, this actually, this logic is true. So I'm just going to run this code, and there's your output. So it's kind of poorly programmed for larger dictionaries, but it does work. Um, I really think that it's going to need a lot more work to actually... Uh, actually work with large dictionaries and I really think I'm gonna have to do a little bit more studying on how to get the hash tables uh, uh, actually working and pulling with the find method to actually find the certain hash keys and the words that are hashed out of the hash table but yes it definitely does work but it's not giving me any anything close to what I want as the output for the words being spelled correctly. And of course it is a system printout simply because the program's not 100% complete. I'm just putting a system printout commands here. I could definitely put them on this window but uh, I don't see the point since it's not the actual correct data. Anyway, that's the demo for this project. It does work, but it doesn't give me the correct values that I'm looking for, so it doesn't work properly. But it does compile, it does actually check. The only thing I think that could help me improve this project is if I get the hash keys and uh, working correctly to where I can pull the certain hash keys and actually compare those values to what I have. But I'm very new to hash tables in general, so I don't think that it's going to happen with this program. I would say that this program would be best used with a smaller dictionary until we can actually work out all the kinks, and then a larger dictionary should work just fine. It's probably only a few lines of code that I need to implement in order to actually get the large dictionary to work. Anyway, that's it for this demo. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I guess just leave some comments on what you think I could do to improve the project. Thanks again, and I'll see you in my next video.